Look at this tank, dude. Oh my goodness. That's a five pounder on this bed right here. Look at her coming at my base. Oh my goodness, that's a hammer, dog. You pulled up on a five, dog. Almost four o'clock in the morning. We're getting ready to hit the Erie to smash some smallies. Oh my goodness, that is a freaking hog, dog. Look at that pretty old skeeter behind me. It's about to go down. And I'm gonna try to be a sponge, soak up whatever I can. Look at that sunshine. What's up, bitchin' and bassin'? What's up, bitchin' and bassin' fam? Shout out to y'all, love y'all. But real quick before we get into the video, I just wanted to kind of give you guys a point, or make a point, to watch the Tourney Pro in this video. Carmen, Carmen's a super cool dude. I was able to hook up with him through chit-chatting back and forth through social media. Make sure you check him out over at Carmen Peluso Fishing on Instagram. But um, we'll talk after the video, guys, but I want you, while you watch the video, Watch Carmen throughout the whole video and watch how he just basically, for lack of a better word, just professionally, professionally just destroys me on the water as a fisherman. Now I know I'm not that great a fisherman at all, but I just want you to pay attention. I learned a lot fishing alongside Attorney Pro and that was the whole goal of the day. And kind of just watch how I kind of fish today and watch, watch Carmen because there's a reason why Carmen's a whole lot better than I am. And hopefully, I can get to his level one day. So, enjoy the video, guys. We'll talk more about it at the end. I'll see you at the end. Enjoy the video. All right, y'all. I don't even know if this is facing towards me or if there's even enough light to see me. We're here waiting on my buddy Carmen. We're going out on the Skeeter today. <laughs> Can't wait. I always wanted to fish off like a legit bass boat set up for tournament fishing. As you can see, it is like three, almost four o'clock in the morning. We're getting ready to head to Erie to smash some smallies. Let's go, guys. Love the bitchin' and bassin' fam. I appreciate all y'all comments, all the likes. I try to reenact, re I'm trying to interact with all of you guys. I love you guys. If you haven't, make sure you join the fam. Let's go. Sorry, I can't scream. It's like four o'clock in the morning, and I'm just like wandering on the street in my neighborhood <laughs> with hiccups. <laughs> People probably think I'm a serial killer, but... Carmen should be here in the next five minutes, and we are going to be on our way to Lake Erie. I don't know if y'all can tell, but you can see. Look at that pretty old Skeeter behind me. I'm and Carmen are making a little pit stop for some energy drinks, and then we're on the road. What's up, bitching and bassin'? Ooh, we're right next to the road. Sorry about the audio, but we're here at beautiful eerie as you can see we got the 20 foot skeeter we got this we got this big dummy yeah i forgot the life jacket that he for mr cabela's yesterday i'm gonna grab some co2 forgot but if you didn't know this dork is carmen i told y'all about him but we're getting the boat backed up he's gonna get me close i'm gonna back him the rest of the way in so but it's a beautiful weather day guys if you're not make sure you subscribe we're out here getting ready guide mark's getting ready to go smash on some small ace i'm gonna be with carmen today we are going to smash them, y'all. So hopefully we have a good time. Should be a banger. Let's get it. Make sure to subscribe. But me and Carmen are going to go see. Well, Carmen is going to go get us on the fish. And I'm going to try to be a sponge. Soak up whatever I can. Because Carmen is the tourney pro here. I'm just the freaking jumbo bum. So either way, it's going to be a banger today. So let's go. We're going to stick ride. This ain't got nothing on Beatrice. Or Beatrice ain't got nothing on this. I'm sorry, girl. You're my ride or die though, bitch. Let's go. Remember, my PB smallmouth is four pounds. So hopefully, she bites today. We'll see, we'll see. I feel like I'm in a dream. But that's where I want to be.
in the summer. I think it's grassy enough for a swim jig. Yeah. All that, and I'll fucking throw the spinning rods in. Oh, that you didn't see? I'm at home, car. Guys, you said I could throw a bait cast. Let them start biting this motherfucker. You won't see me pick up a fucking spinning rod the rest of this day. Let me get a. Let me get. A, oh, ooh, dog. He came. He must have been falling into the boat, dude. I pulled it off some grass and he, he was like, no, nope, give me that back. Give me that back. As soon as it came through the grass, dude. I almost snapped my rod on the fucking power pole. His name was Carmen. Dude, this boat does ride nice. I've been in a decent amount of boats. This is one of the nicer riding ones I've been in. They told us it was going to be a slow drag, but we don't want to listen. I keep switching up. Like, nope, I'm going to make them eat this fluke. Right there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. That is a freaking hog, dog. I giant, just dude. I just saw the tail. It's a good yeah. fish, dude. Hey, look, you got to remember who you're with here. I'm mediocre compared to you, bro. I can't catch a deep fish to save my life. Let me tell you something. What I know for a fact. Deep, deep fishing is very, very important. But when the bite gets tough, the shallow guy prevails every time. That's a fact. It's on a bed. It looks like she's like high up. Well, she might be garbage. Where is that fish at? Let me throw this fluke at her. Oh, why is that? This keeps getting caught in my knot. Same thing that was happening before. Wherever this fish is. Alright, we got the fluke out there. Oh, yep. Should have put a weighted hook on this fluke's taking too long this thing. Dude, dude, look at this. Somebody come and look at this. That that four just ate my fluke. I literally just watched it. I don't know how. Dog, I got excited as soon as he ate it. I freaking. How did I not hook him? Dog. Dude, I, I, I saw it. I didn't even feel it. Like, if I wouldn't have saw it, I probably would have. But it looked like how she turned and bit it. It, like, I can't believe. Followed the fluke though. Is that the dust cloud from it? She yeah, look in uh, nail weights, there's either. a blue bag on the bottom of you. You think they need a wacky rig? They probably need a wacky rig. Oh, my God, I do. oh yeah, I'm tripping. Because a Gary will sink better than this. Another bait, but I think I got too much hook on this rod. You figure deal me? Telling you, once I learn something, dog, like that's all you gotta do is show me one time something that works. That's it. That's how I learned to drive a stick. That's how I got a CDL. That's how I got an inspection license. That's how I got into building pool tables. I've done so much of the like weirdest shit. You know what I'm saying? Not to toot my own horn, but I'm tooting my own horn. You dig? Baby bass, baby. Come on now. It might be it, G. There's a whole bunch of fish over there. It's an awful lot of cops here. 
It's just a saying they say. The young kids nowadays. It's an awful lot of cop syrup. Should be another one in there, all these. There's eight trillion drum in this fucking place. I know. I couldn't feel it at first. Where is he at? Coming at you? Oh, he's little as hell. That's why. First fish is a dumbass little rock bass. Nice little chunk. Look at that perfect little hook set, though. Come on. Chill, bro. Chill, bro. Oh, it's the first fish of the day, y'all. Not worth showing. A little rocky. A little rocky. Hey, takes a skunk out of the boat. Oh my goodness. That's a five pounder. Dude. On this bed right here. Oh, that's a bed fish. Yeah, but look at her coming at my bait. Oh my goodness, that's a hammer, dog. You pulled up on a five, dog. Alright, just hang tight. We're looking. Really no fast movements. There's another one, another four pounder. Oh, yeah. They're out here, dude. I like this out here way better, dude. Oh, there's another one right here, dude. We rolled up on some hammers, dude. Right there, and just pitch it right to the center of that bed. I can't even see my bait or nothing. Uh, there she is. I'll see her. Right there? Yeah, I see her now. She may have took his wife with this. I can't see my bait. Oh, there it is. It's right in front of her. She's looking at it. You're right in the center of the bed. Leave it that stick. Oh, she didn't like that. She didn't like that. Stay, don't move it. Come on, girl. Damn. She made a couple sharp actions at it. It seems like she doesn't like this at the top of her bed. As soon as it That's landed at the top, the top of that bed. She gets, it gets her attention. She does not like that. Damn it, stupid grass. Oh, 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 she just 
fired towards it. Come on, eat it. Dude, I moved it too far. I thought she had it and I like moved it. Come on. Dude, when I threw it over there, she watch this dude. I think I got her number. She eats it right there with the grass on it. How like the bed's like a circle and then there's that little another little circle. Throwing the net rig. Right. You better than the first one? Oh, yeah, it is. Could I both flip? It's another f***ing... Picture my taker. Right. That was fun. I'm gonna put some other fatty in the boat. It's a good f***ing eerie fish right there, buddy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah.
this fish. Oh my goodness, I finally got a fish. It's coming through the grass and then it like just, oh, he's fighting. Little stick in it. Look, there's one with him. What do you got on? Dragging it through. But I finally just threw it way out that way. There's another one swimming over there. Finally, uh, rock bass finally caught a small mouth. Dragging that stupid Ned rig. This place looks good. Look, oh yeah, I'm seeing a bunch. They swim. I think we were just a little too close to the wall. I think they're pushed off this wall. I say that after catching one fish in eight hours and this dude has fucking 17 pounds. Listen to me though. <laughs> All right, so. For the first time. For the coast guy. Dude. But at least that guy fought a little bit. I need to loosen my drag. Yeah, he did fight a little. Yeah, because he's on that crankbait. I crossed my first smile on the Ned Rig, dragging it through. On the freaking kill shot. That old, old dad over here supplied me with. I'm getting sunned on the back of the boat today. Same size, a little large. These are all little chunks, dude. These are a little chunker. Another Ned Rig fish, a little large mouth. He was over in them rocks. He hit it, I, I, like, I threw it, dragged it once. It's fish number two for me, a little chunk smart. Look how bad body the fish I'm catching are, dude. Look at that thing. Thing's freaking slow, y'all. All right, y'all. Starting to get confidence in this Ned Rig. Let's go. back over in these rocks because he bit right away. I didn't feel that bite either. It was just it just got heavy, just like you said. See, I told you I could catch fish sometimes. Now that we got this chop, they're gonna be a little more interested, that's for sure. All right.
did, that was awesome. She was fired up, bro. Double three Came out and a half. Made some freaking meat, dude. Cheers. Twins, dude. Cheers. Twins, 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 twins. She railed it. You know what I think it is? What? Less pressure. Oh, yeah, there's not any like people out here. Heat. And the sun's higher in the sky? Yep. Guys, me and him just smacked twins. Carmen just had one just like this. There, we know exactly what they're eating. They're fired up now. That sun's up. How many think we can put that? That was two, dude. He caught Carmen caught his while netting my fish. So if that tells you anything. Look at that meat, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Go ahead, girl. Appreciate you, girl. liked it make sure you let me know by hitting the like button get in the comment section let me know what you thought but uh before we say anything else just huge 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 shout out huge thanks much love to carmen for taking me out you guys don't know i mean he treated me almost like family well not almost he treated me like a brother almost like he let me control the boat he opened up all his new rods and like some of the rods and reels i used still had plastic on them and like it was nothing for him hey man use whatever his boat was my boat it was i've been on plenty of boats before and carmen went above and beyond in so much respect love thanks again goes out to carmen big shout out to carmen Faluso. make sure you go follow him on instagram big shout out big much respect love you carmen thank you so much hopefully we get out there soon make sure you guys go and support our local Western PA angler, Carmen, over on his Instagram at Carmen Peluso Fishing. I'll make sure to put it in the description. Maybe we'll throw it up on the screen here. But yeah, guys, like I said in the beginning, if you watched, I mean, Carmen stayed steady through. I mean, where I like kind of struggle most in fishing is where Carmen is like, that's where he just freaking nails it, man. I mean, there was four and five pound fish swimming everywhere and I, like his ability to know when they were and when they weren't biting and when to move and was like i can't do that like i would have been stuck at some of those spots trying and just couldn't figure out why those fish wouldn't bite so um i was switching baits all day to see he once he'd figure out the bite that's what he stuck to and he ended up catching over 15 pounds by himself like I mean, I caught one good fish and a couple other just regular fish, but I learned so much by watching. And, and he was very open, didn't get annoyed by questions. Like, Carmen's just a stand-up dude. And I love even more that he's a Pittsburgher guy. So, like I said, make sure you go support him. And hopefully we can get together and make another video for y'all. Because um, I, you guys probably noticed, like, the my 
chesty GoPro. This this was shot in July, so like the, it was heating, overheat, it, like it was just a whole mess. Or it was shot in June, but like yeah, the the chesty GoPro was acting up all day. I was just lucky to have the other GoPro in the back to make sure we got all that awesome footage, guys. So let me know what you think in the comments. Um, yeah, guys, we got a, a big giveaway coming, sponsored by my wife. She's a real estate agent. She's sponsoring a huge giveaway, and uh, we also got cool merch ideas coming on the way. I'm thinking about doing a home lake series, just something simple with you know your favorite P Western PA lake, just outlined, small B and B merch way to rock the the brand and way to you know rock your home lake or whatever is your favorite lake in PA, guys. So. But make sure you're subscribed, guys. The next video is a banger. It is not going to take as long to come out. I got a new job for a reason. I'll let you guys know in the next video. But I've just been working more. That's. But the next video is in the lab. It's coming to you. It's a banger. We went out and kind of did the best five, and I crushed. I, just make sure you're subscribed so I can show you guys. But thank you. I love y'all. B&B gang is the best. Let's get it.